SpongeBob, Sponge. That's the real reason I started taking voice lessons. Patrick. Really? Patrick, Just so you could sing that better? Squid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> plankton. Um, pl hear this part. Plankton, plankton. Okay. That's pretty good, right? That was actually really good. <laughs> Thanks. Man. Um, okay, so I need to ask you about a few games. I'm trying to think of the games I need to ask you about that we need to play on channel. Sure. Um, Batman Rise of Sinsu. That's already like a like a like a we're playing it. Like okay. it's a, it's a it's a co-op game. It's from the GameCube era. Like it's it fulfills all the conditions so far of games that we've played now, on this channel. It's been I know it's been like probably like a few weeks since you've had this conversation. Yep. But I saw you having a conversation with uh, some people in our friend group, mm -hmm. and um, in that conversation, you mentioned something about a little guy named Sonic Adventure Two. I mean, yeah, that's I mean, I'm down. All right, fantastic. I'm in. Um, what else is there? There's oh, uh, we should probably. I mean, I wouldn't mind working our way through Shredder's Revenge, which okay. is the new TMNT. Um, That's the beat six up. player one, right? It is. It is up to six players. That's I think crazy to me. Playing with six players kind of diminutizes the experience because mm. there's so much happening on screen. Right. Um, but I think it's cool if you have like a lot of friends and like you guys are all not sober and things are dope. Okay. Um, I would say so three we'll get is fucked the up. yeah, and then invite. You know, that's when we start John Hub and friends. That's the okay. Launch. Okay. But why is it not Addison, jo Addison, and John and friends? That see, you know, that that was just a mouthful. <laughs> that was like too so many. John syllables. Hub and friends. Isn't that what we've 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 coined it before? No, I don't think it is. I think I think we said Addison and John and for. Oh, Fuck my life, these kids, man. These kids. Maybe that's when we'll have to adopt like a proper channel name, like uh, like the Rugrats or something. Yeah, like yeah. That, you know, <laughs> the Rugrats. <laughs> I don't know what a good like channel name would be. <laughs> you're, you were off. Don't the mark say it. Don't bit. say it. I'm not gonna. I'm not saying shit. This channel. This challenge fucking sucks. Oh my god, I hate these kids, man. Yeah. <sighs> Asshole. So, in any event, mm. um, has your day been good? My day's been pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Uneventful, you know. Uneventful is good. That's, and that's all. And that's all we can really ask for. This one little fucking rug rat, bro. Today is. Um, can I talk about the date? Uh, sure. So this the the actual let's play isn't coming out until November first. So yes. I just wanted to let you know that. But, but motherfucker, I, I was gonna say today is Indigenous Peoples Day. Remember, you can't do that. Yeah. Today is Indigenous Peoples Day. Mm -hmm. Um. So at my work, we we went and uh, I was just sort of stuck there. Okay. Didn't get any actual work done. I mean, some actual work, but but mm -hmm. hardly any. I have to do a lot of work when I go. Well, not a lot. Yes. I have to do a more work than I would like to do when I get home this evening. Okay. So, Wait, is this is this let's play conversation or is this? Yeah, like, this is this is like I mean, this is both. Yeah, I think yeah, it could yeah. just be general combo shit. You know. Okay, understand. I think if we drone on about hating resource management in games, and yeah, we're, yeah, we're, yeah. We're, we're, you know, people and then are we talk turn about off. a little bit of life. We we let the people in a little bit. I. I you know, I peel back the veil, if you will. Okay, let them let them know that behind this this rough, tough, game critic, hater exterior, we're just regular guys. We're just regular guys who who do silly things, you know. Mm -mm -mm. And uh, not many people can get that. Do you think you're gonna be silly into your thirties? Do you think you're gonna be for silly sure. for life? I, I think I think at this point silly in my for life. life. Like I at this point in my life, the only goal I have is to be make silly. more money. Maybe shift careers, and um, and be more silly, and be, be be as silly as I've been. Okay, okay. Like I want, I don't, I don't want. You don't tons want silly deterioration, but you don't want to be sillier, is what you're saying. Uh, yeah. I think if I'm any sillier, people will, will people will begin to question, like <laughs> your like, sanity. Not my sanity, no. but like if I if I really deserve to be where I'm at in life. <laughs> And uh, I'm not trying to have that that interaction. I think you could be. You forgot one. No, I know. I'm not trying to talk to her. She just she talked to me, bro. I don't give a fuck about her. Now Whoa. I do. Hello, Miss Puff. She's negligent. Can we be honest for a second? She's negligent. She, she is. She, she's she a negligent teacher. She lost. She lost the. Why is she bringing? Why Why is she with children? First of all, she's mm -hmm. a boating school teacher. She draw. She teaches teenagers. And older. Maybe she was just babysitting him for a side hustle because teachers are unfairly paid. Okay, fair enough. 
Okay. Hot. I mean, that's not a hot take. No, not a hot. I, I said fair enough. I think that's a freezing. I mean, I'm saying this for our audience. Yeah, you yeah, know, this is a freezing, freezing, cold, freezing take. cold take. No, for sure. I mean, I'm, I've always been of the mind. Why are we paying uh, sports players twenty million dollars a year? Uh, Honestly, facts. Whereas we're paying teachers zero dollars. I mean, because because sports people do something that no one ever could. Mm-hmm. You know, which teachers definitely don't do. That's true. Te- pff, teachers doing doing shit that people never could. What? Everyone can be a teacher. What? It's true. It's true. Yo, true it is not shit. True. Let me go on the record. Say I agree with what Addison's saying, and we mean this wholeheartedly. No, no, I'm joking. <laughs> All right, back to back to back to reality. Oh God! Back oh. to oh, the ghost gravity. Oh, the ghost rabbit. You ever see Eight Mile? Uh, I haven't watched Eight Mile. Despite being an Eminem fan, I've I've avoided watching Eight Mile at this okay. point in my life no, because I'm no no I yeah you know, I haven't I mean I haven't heard sponge jump too much about it is definitely not called a sponge <laughs> jump sponge jump um I haven't heard too much about sponge it job from the <laughs> oh, shut the fuck up thanks. <laughs> No, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. Sponge okay. job, dude. Sponge, sponge job. Sponge job. Sponge slob. Uh huh. Uh-huh. What's a <laughs> sponge bounce? You just ask me a question and I gotta answer. Sponge you, ride. You... <laughs> yeah, I do that sometimes. We're all, I'll be talking about something and just completely derail the conversation on uh, on nothing. What happens? You know, that's life. What the fuck? Yikes! I get dude. one and done. I'd be embarrassed if I were you. Sometimes in life, you just get one and done, and that's it. You get the one Checkpoint. and doneer. Checkpoint? No. no, you got the checkpoint. It's just, you know, it's probably a glitch or some shit. Embarrassing. Sponge job. Sponge. Super monster sponge job. Oh, oh, you just reminded me. I downloaded uh, Monster Hunter Now today. Okay. Dude, I, I love that game. I know. That's why I brought it up just now. I'm plugging it. I'm plugging it, everyone. Play Monster Hunter Now. It's like Pokemon Go, but good, bro. It really is. Yeah, it's like Pokemon Go, but you don't have to deal with, like, some 12-year-old's, like, insane Charizard at the local park when you yeah, just want to yeah. enjoy the game. There's no, there's not much of a competitive aspect. It's mostly collaborative. Uh, it's fully collaborative, really. You just fight the monsters. But here's the thing. Here's what I hated about monster, or not monster. Here's what I hate about Pokemon Go. You play Pokemon Go. There's nothing to do in 2016. Whenever it came out, it came out in 2016. 2015? Mm. 2014. Let me think. Um, I was. It was freshman year for me, so it must have been 2016 because 2016. I was I was running at the time. Okay. Um, yeah, so you're playing 2016, there's barely anything to do, the combat sucks, the, there's no trading with other players. Yep. Like there, there's there's only, major, like, five Gen 1 Pokemon. Yeah, there's, like, major features missing, is what I'm trying to say. Um, my biggest issue with Pokemon Go in general is oh that God. you build up this collection of Pokemon... There's so many goddamn Pokemon that, like, you, you can't care about all of them. In fact, you care about almost none of them. Yep. You, you know, you, you you try your darndest to collect all of them. You ignore some of them. You don't ignore other ones. You need Pokestops. You need to live near Pokestops. That's to, correct. If you to, live in a rural area, the game is not for you. Yeah, if you, if, you, if you live, you know, miles and miles away from a damn Pokestop, you're just fucked. Yep. Monster Hunter, now, you pick up those things also. Sometimes you do need the... Can I just pick up the spatula down there, you think? Oh, dude, you should try it. Do you think it's possible? I think it's possible. You think I'm going to get, like, pull, pulled away from the fucking hand? There's a likelihood. Oh! Wait, did that not work? It didn't work because oh, it was under it's the water. Like, yeah, it's like under, yeah, it's like submerged. That's good, Dan. That's good game design. I thought, uh, yeah, I thought it was, like, above water or whatever. I'm sure there's a glitched way to get it, though. I'm sure To there be is. honest with you. Um, yeah, you, you need Pokestops. Monster Hunter now, you get those materials just from walking around. They show up on the map and everything. Obviously, the, the use for the stops, which are the same as the Poke stops, um, like in terms of where they are on the map and stuff, mm-hmm. the the biggest use for them is they give you a bunch of the resources that you need. Wait, like, you're going to go and do the thing, right? You can't grab it. You I need already... to be Patrick. Oh, do you? Yeah. I'll do it later. Okay. Um, yeah, you, you, uh, yeah, so, so yeah, the, the Poke stops, you, you need them shits. You, you need them in Pokemon Go. You don't need them in Monster Hunter now, but they do help, obviously. They give you a bunch of the resources that you need for basically any upgrades and everything like yeah, that. Yeah, they expedite the process a yeah. little bit. So it definitely helps us still have them. Definitely helps us still travel to places where there are a lot of stops. The other thing that I really enjoy about uh, Monster Hunter now is that your progression directly impacts, like, your character and everything. So, like, Pokemon Go, you're finding a bunch of these Pokemon, you're finding your 300th Weedle and then funneling it into your, you know, into your Beedrill or whatever. You don't even care about those Pokemon. Yeah. 
Um, oh, fuck. But, like, for Monster Hunter so now, for, for you're, Monster you're, Hunter find, now yeah, you're finding, I'll, like, a super pukumiku or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your pukumiku armor, it, it funnels directly into your character. It feels like you're improving. It feels like your character is getting stronger. I and will everything. say that's pretty cool. So it, it, it feels like the progression that you're doing is going directly towards you as a as a player. Um, and also the combat is good. Like, that's that's the kind of the biggest thing. What was your game plan there? <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> it was um, try my hardest. Fair. Um, I was gonna. Add, I didn't know you were a big Monster Hunter head. I am, man. Should we should play Rise on the on the. We should play Rise because I actually have that on both Steam and Xbox. There you go. I wish I have to again. I have to, I think maybe we talked about this. Maybe I talked about it with someone else. Mm -hmm. Um, I I want to play it on Steam because I enjoy the game. Mm -hmm. But I already played through it all on Xbox, and there's no cross progression. And like, really? it's, apparently they wanted to like try and figure out a way to integrate it, but I don't think they could without like making everyone sign up for like a Capcom account, uh, like account, yeah. which I don't think they really want to do from like as a, as a business. Like That's I think kind of annoying. it is annoying. Like it's annoying to have 15 different accounts and you have an account, you know, with fucking EA and with, you know, Xbox and with PlayStation and with, you know, Nether there. Realm Studios and all that shit just yeah, to, yeah. just to carry your data over. Like that's not that's not fun for anyone. That's not feasible. No, it's not. It's annoying. I think you have to go a different way. Yeah, you're probably um, right. There's probably another one that's a similar situation. I'm sure there is. I'd be very surprised if you had to Let me try one more time. Though. Um but yeah, so I got it on the on the fucking okay, humble Sorry. bundle it was on. And uh, so I've been meaning okay. to play it because I really enjoy Monster Hunter Rise. And it's not a long game. Yeah. Like, fundamentally, it's probably one third to half the size of World. And that's a good thing. Yeah, no, exactly. Um, because it, you, you have the, the wolf and you have the fucking string. And you don't have to like yeah, slowly man. meander around this entire like map that, was... that you do in World. Like World... World's a, a great step forward, but it, it really had some serious flaws. That, yeah, that that's my world critique is that it's it's uh, really hard to like navigate. Like certain weapon types, it just feels like you're punished for using them. Yeah. Like I use uh, dual blades, and some of the best things you can do with the dual blades is like sliding combos. So you have to have like a hill that you're sliding down, and only that this platforming sucks. Yeah, that's not. I could the do best. it though. But just don't miss this last one, please. It's Thank definitely you. a little Crash Bandicoot esque, right? Like it's yeah, small in like an annoying yeah, in like an annoying small way where like you have to look at your shadow. But for some reason, like I can't see SpongeBob shadow that well in this fucking situation because it's you know probably a pain in the ass to see normally. Yeah, and it's a dark cave, you know. That's and it's the a dark cave. Um, what yeah, no world, world. I mean, what did I use in world? I think I used like the heavy bow gun or some shit like that. But that's so a gun like that is kind of conducive to like I feel like the game. Like I, I feel like some weapons just don't work because you. Fight the flying monster on the map where there's 20 different exactly. floors, exactly. and then you hit it twice, and then it runs away. With Rise, they thought of that, and they like got rid of that shit, and I yeah. and I love them for it. They They're, made it where you can just fucking catapult yourself across the map. Your Attack on and, Titan, yeah, literally, and it's a good thing. Yeah, it's a really good thing. Ooh. I know, I know, Rise was critiqued for having like a lack of like launch content. I think with its monsters, like I feel like it's. Okay. A little shallow in that regard, and I would agree with it. You know, like I don't think it had nearly as much launch content as World, but like also I didn't play Sunbreak yet. You play Sunbreak? I have not yet. Um, but also good things. Rise did come out for um the Switch initially. It was a Switch exclusive, yep. so yep, yep. it's gonna come with less content to fit on a smaller console. Mm -hmm. Um, which is I fine. Like... You think the next Monster Hunter game is gonna be World Two? No, I think they'll. I think their rise was World Two, and that's what they they changed the formula off of. I think the next Monster Hunter game is probably going to come within the next. What Rise came out last year? Two They've years announced ago? it already. I think. I don't know. If they no. Released it. Yeah, no way. Yeah, Monster Hunter games come out like every like three or four years. There's no way they announced it though. They, they probably it. talked that they, they no. They talked. They that, said they said it's on the way. They, like, they didn't say the name. Yes. Yeah, that's an announcement. Eh. Where I'm from, that's an announcement. Where I'm from, that's that's <laughs> not. Because you don't live anywhere that I because know or that I care where'd about they announce that? They announced it on some like Twitter blog post that the average consumer is not going to read. The average consumer is going to you know look at their well, E3 I'm extraordinary, shit. buddy. Oh, I That's know what you, you are. Know about me. I'm extraordinary. You are really extraordinary. <laughs> I'm extraordinary. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I think it'll it'll be like I don't think they'll call it Rise Two. I think they'll call it like Rise Ultimate X. They'll call it World Two. Um, and I do think it'll it'll be multi platform. 
mm. uh, day one for sure. Like without uh, a doubt in my mind. What do you think of that? That was actually really good. Thank you, thank you. Have you ever thought about professional voice acting? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just did it now. 